I'm Nathan. And I'm Jerry. We are Farming Our Backyard. I have a seven and a half amp hour battery that runs this and a 30 amp charge controller and a hundred watt solar panel and two timers, one to open and one to close. And I think that's called a double a double switching relay. But I'll leave uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the guys who guide that I followed to build this. In case anybody else wanted one like this. So it doesn't save that much time, but it'll save one trip out here in the open this opener will save one trip out here because we'll close it up at night and we won't have to make that trip. It won't save me a trip in the morning because I'd come out to feed them anyway. We got our future egg layers out here, starting to get them used to the big egg layers. We'll probably keep the future egg layers out here for a couple weeks so that we can get them acclimated to each other before we turn them loose with each other. Don't they look happy all together like that? It at least means that all my chores, two sets of my chores are all in the same spot. This is our first attempt at ever moving the chickens this way. We're gonna use our two, two fence system here and I'm not as brave as uh, just the road, so. All right, well, we successfully got them moved to their new pen. Now we gotta go tear down, finish tearing down the rest of the old one, but that won't take very long. Here's some clips of us preparing these beds. We uh, added straw, and then on top of that, we added some dirt that we had left over from the front. And then we added more dirt in the wheelbarrows from out front, and we finished up with some Pro Mix. Uh, we didn't use the organic because it was really expensive. On the south side of the bed, we're planting red carmen onions, and this is a every three inch variety. Your spacing is three inches on this variety. On the north side of this bed, we're planting yellow stud garners. This also three. They're also uh, three inches apart. We're just guessing on the three inches. Uh, we could get a ruler out and measure it, but for the sake of time, we're just going to plop these in here and hope for the best. We just got done, dirty hands and all to prove it, uh, planting our onions. We ended up with two beds full of three different varieties. One of the varieties was a sweet onion and two of them are storage varieties so we'll see what we get and we planted approximately 220 that's what the bag said uh, all together so we'll see how many we get hopefully we get a decent amount I wanted to bring you out here and show you the strawberries there are some at this end of the bed that are gonna look like they're gonna fruit this year I'm gonna let them go ahead I don't think it'll hurt them. They were way ahead when it got hit the ground, so way ahead of where the other ones were when it hit the ground. So I think these ones would be fine if I let them go ahead and fruit out. So there's, I don't know, probably 12 strawberries here. It's not going to be like a huge overabundance of strawberries, but 
but there's going to be one down here too. And I think these ones were the ever bearings and all the rest were June bearings. But this set right in here did not come up very well at all. And I'm curious to see if it comes back at all. If not, well this is where we'll be planting strawberries next year. I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to come out, go out here and see if we can catch this chicken door closing all by itself on video. We watched Doug and Stacy all summer last year talk about their headlamps and how nice they were to have them. Well, last fall I bought two headlamps and I have really, well, I bought one and she uses it all the time. And I thought, hey, I'd really like to have one too. So now we have two headlamps. And I really like having a little headlamp. It really is nice. You guys are sitting on this brick right here. This closure setup we bought a long time ago. It seems like the price on a lot of the components has went up. We've bought parts of it. And then we've only bought parts to replace. We've never had to buy it again. The setup was, uh, wasn't too terrible the first time, but we've added so much to it and changed so much of it that the setup is fairly expensive now. And if I had the size battery that I wanted, this setup would cost quite a bit more because a couple years ago it did have a light in it so that it kicked on for four hours and the egg lay, they laid eggs better through the whole winter. I haven't decided whether I want to put that piece back in because I sort of like giving them the break. All right, so this opener closer has pre-programmed limits, so it does shut down when it reaches the end of the cycle. So it's only using a minimal amount of power now, but even that is cut off overnight, and until it kicks on in the morning at six, I think it's set for 6.30. When it kicks on at 6.30 in the morning, there's a timer that kicks on for two minutes that opens it back up. I set the one for closing at four minutes just so I can be sure I'm not stressing the battery and I wanted to be sure that the door gets closed all the way. The problem I've had in the past is that this rod, this rod right here, when it slides up in here it gets iced up. So this year I want to see if I can't put some grease on it when it starts getting colder temperatures so that that rod when it recesses, make sure it doesn't freeze there because I've popped this cap off once before. I hope you enjoyed watching me put that opener back on and understand why we enjoy it so much, having it so much. So that one of us isn't out here at this time of night closing it up. It's usually her chore. It makes me nervous when she comes out across this ground in the dark because it's not exactly level ground. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you joining us on these adventures as we farm our backyard. If you enjoyed this content, please take a minute to like, comment, and subscribe.